Hello, everybody. We are live on the Lamley YouTube channel. This is one of those surprise live feeds. I haven't announced it. I haven't uh, set any timer. I just turned on the camera and we are rolling. So if you get this notification and want to come on and say hi, let's do it. If you're watching this video later, I think I'll give you enough to enjoy. We're going Dotson 620. I've noticed that a few people have the Hot Wheels K case, 2020 K case. I'm assuming that in the coming days, I'll have a rapid unboxing and all the other showcases that I have. But there's one model that I'm gonna give its own showcase here on Saturday night, one that I was planning on doing all kinds of cool stuff for. It is from the K case, there's that K letter right there. It is the Dotson 620 in a very special deco. We'll get to that in just a second. I've got all of the other Dotson 620s, thought we'd walk through those. So I'm gonna move those out of the way and we'll start um, We'll start walking through them. I think that will be kind of fun. Um, but it's a quite a different uh, plan for this video uh, than, uh, I mean, really just seriously popping on Saturday night randomly and doing this. Um, I had much bigger plans for this. As a matter of fact, this is a very, very exciting model. So let's just get right to it. From the K case, it is the Datsun 620. And if you look here, you will see it's in a kind of a matte red, almost kind of a not rusted look, or it's definitely not patina, but just kind of a old faded look to this red paint. And you can see it's very clean. It's got the Datsun logo on the back. And it's got uh, nothing more except for this little stripe and the JDM Legends logo right there. In fact, this isn't even a logo. This is a replica of the hand-painted logo on the shop truck from JDM Legends. This is actually an exact replica of the JDM Legends shop truck. Eric Bizick and I, you guys know if you've followed Lamley for a while, um, they're also here in Salt Lake. I know those guys, Eric is... Uh, Eric Bizzik over at JDM Legends, and Josh is over there too. Uh, he found an old lifted Datsun 620 several years ago, and he's been just kind of, he turned it into a shop truck. He, he lowered it a little bit back to, it's a little lower than stock. Um, he left the paint, and then he added the JDM Legends logo. Well, we've seen JDM Legends uh, logo on, the, uh, on several models, including just recently the uh, Team Transport Skyline, right? Um, the JDM Legends Hakoska Skyline. But this is really cool because it's not just a car with their logo on it. This is an exact replica of Eric's truck. So in fact, I don't let me see if I've got, um, since we're live, I'm gonna try something here. I've got my iPad out and um, I'm literally gonna Google Datsun 620. And you guys can too. Dotson 620 JDM Legends. Search. Images. And look at that. Let's see if this will come up clear. Of course not. There we go. There you go. I'll put this up here. Sorry for the glare. Just got that off of Google. That is the JDM Legends shop truck. It's got white rims. This one doesn't, but that is a replica of the exact truck. How cool is that? All right. So as you can imagine, knowing that that truck is just within a few miles of where I am right now, um, we had a big plan. Hot Wheels had, uh, I had gotten notification, obviously Eric had too, that Hot Wheels wanted to do the 620. Uh, they went through the licensing process. They said they were going to do it, and we had big plans. In fact, we had talked about doing a separate event here in Utah, um, inviting people to come and see the actual truck, see the shop, and get their own version, this giveaway. We're gonna have, we were going to have some other swag and everything else. And then that didn't happen. And then we were going to do it another at a, at a car show. That didn't happen. But Hot Wheels sent me three cases of this car. That's why I have it. 
Um, so Eric and I have three cases of this Dotson 620 that we want to give away to collectors. We're not going to do it right now because if things ever calm down, we'll just use it as a way to celebrate the truck another time. It's just, you know, based on COVID-19, it didn't happen. Um, and they're essentially, they were sent to us not to me for me to do a giveaway to promote my channel. It was really to give to collectors in person. So don't ask me to do a giveaway at this point. We'll figure it out with Eric. And uh, and But we have three cases of this truck, and it would be fun for people to get this, have him sign it, and uh, put it in their uh, in their collections. But this is going to be in stores, obviously, in the coming weeks or months as part of the K-Case. And uh, it is by far my favorite Datsun 620 at this point. It's really, really cool. So, um, yeah, so we were going to... I was going to talk about all these three cases. We, I've, I've had these cases of Hot Wheel of this truck for, I think, three months now. And um, just it, we just hit some bad luck, right? So I'm going to open this up, and we're going to go ahead and add it to my 620 collection. We'll walk through all of the trucks. Um, as a matter of fact, maybe let's do that first, and then we'll open this up. So I've got them here. Uh, I'm going to start. I don't remember what years these were released, but this is the first issue of the Datsun 620. It is a I'm some someone's talking about the uh, the bed. This is a more of the long bed version, right? So they went with a stock deco on the Datsun 620 to start. They started with this orange version, um, and um, let's see here. So the orange version, it was like, and you can see that they actually detailed this one. So Datsun on the back, orange. I don't know what else to say about it, but. Obviously, this is a very cool truck from the second it was released. I think June Amai is the one who did it. This is uh, outside of now that the JDM Legends is out. This would be my other favorite. This would be the one that I would consider my favorite before. This was the second color in blue. It's a really cool blue, like kind of a bright blue. Dots on it. And this was a Kmart exclusive, and it's actually quite difficult to get now. Um, just because it's been a popular and it's just a nice, clean-looking version. Uh, but that, yeah, that Kmart blue Datsun 620. I remember I actually, I had a lot of people that wanted these. And so they said, hey, once the Kmart event ends, this was years ago, um, see if you can find some. So I went to a few Kmarts and I ended up, I'm not kidding, I think I bought like 80 of them because no one wanted them at the time. I mean, it wasn't that they didn't want it, but no one cared that much. And so I bought up a bunch for a bunch of people. This was the third color in red. You can see it's got the Hot Wheels logo there on the, on the um, on the bottom, there's the grill. I don't know what else to show you. And those are three colors. So then the next year came in two colors. Can I do a side by side comparison of the beds, like the size of the beds? The casting's exactly the same. Is that what you guys are asking? Let me know. I'll be watching you, so I'll be watching. So here is the second, this was the second year color in green, and I like this one too. It's just kind of clean. It has kind of a nice era-appropriate color combination, but I don't think, yeah, they didn't do the, the but Dotson was embossed on the back, so you could still see it, but they weren't able to do it, so because they did the hood colors and then the side colors. So green, and then they did a Kmart issue again. So this was the second Kmart Dotson 620. It was a Kmart exclusive twice. Um, all right, guys, I see some. We're gonna go ahead. If you're if you want to talk about COVID nineteen, uh, take that somewhere else, guys. Let's talk about the cars. Um, so and then we're live, and then someone sees this and then wonders why I'm making those comments. I don't like that. So let's just stay focused. On the car, so two Kmart exclusives, the blue and the yellow, and um, and I uh, I think like I would say of the two Kmart exclusives, I'd say the blue is the better one uh, than the yellow one, but it's still kind of a cool combination. All right, I think I have these in order, and let's see if I do. They did a special Walmart trucks exclusive, and this was another one actually was kind of hard to find, but this one started going. That's the Hot Wheels logo on the doors. Um, in Japanese, and then they did this, you know, this kind of red, blue, and white combination is a really, really nice combination on this one. Dots and embossed on the back. So, I think that one looks kind of cool. 
yeah, you guys, I'll I can get on my high horse if you want me to, but it's like take your debates elsewhere. I don't need them here. That is for sure. And if people want to get and they start getting oh, they start getting at each other, you guys are gone. I promise you. We are all about good vibes here on Lamley. All about it. People want to battle, you go do it somewhere else. All right, so truck multi-pack. Then we go to no, not truck, truck series, then we go to the multi-pack. So Hot Wheels will do like three or four colors of a particular casting, make it a nine pack exclusive. And there is the first one. I think I have these in order. You guys can tell me if I'm wrong, but I think the first one was in this brown color. Again, another like um, appropriate um, appropriate color combination. AJ Porsche, you're asking, there's a bunch of guys that were, there were a couple of guys doing, doing having some conversation about, uh, I don't know, other stuff other than these cool Dotsons that we were showing. And I don't like it. Um, but really, really cool color in that one. First one and the second color. And these one, these are, I think, kind of hard to find now, too. I haven't looked lately. Tan color. But they one thing the Hot Wheels has done here um, is they, I think, for the most part with most of these trucks, is they've kept them era appropriate. While this may not be a stock deco, of course, they've done a nice job on the uh, combination of the colors. And then the last one in black and you don't see very many japanese cars in black like this but uh cool with this this trim so those are the three nine pack exclusives of the Datsun 620 should i do here i can try and get it so you guys can try and see all of these together here i'll move this for now there does that look is that better actually here we'll do it like that Okay, we're not done yet though, right? Somewhere in the middle of this comes the uh, car culture. This one probably somewhere around here. The car culture, so this is the first premium. Um, didn't get the front or rear deco because this was the second or third mix of car culture. It was uh, the trucks mix, right? When they first introduced it, they put this one. I frankly am not a huge fan of this one because like I said, all of these have kind of a cool appropriate deco on them. This one totally, this one really doesn't fit. It's cool to have the Japanese nostalgic car logo on it. A couple of them do. Um, but um, color's cool. I don't know if the uh, Moon Eyes, Moon Discs work on this one. I mean, it's fine to have, but I, you know, I'm waiting for a better premium. I'd love to see this one in the uh, RLC or anything like that. But um, I dig that one. Okay, we're not done. How about a Gretty version? So this one's cool. Gretty on the back. Gretty color combination. Japanese nostalgic car. Um, nice combination of colors. I like the black rims on that one. So now we have to kind of like figure out how we're going to put these. Let's put, um, let's put that one right there. And then it was recolored in black again. So we've had that same had this black combination then we've had the white combination there too they look very very similar but there's gritty on the back with the gritty colors nice right so we'll put those two over there then of course goes back to the main line i don't remember what year that one was but there was this one tan color with this kind of camouflage looking thing has the steely rims on it which i really like embossed not much there but as you guys probably know that version also came as a super treasure hunt so they added the th they added uh some hood deco right there japanese nostalgic car you can see the th on the hood and on the side of the bed right there and then th620 on the back as opposed to hw620 they really changed the um color of the model as well right but uh, that's a nice looking super treasure hunt, don't you think? I think so. I like it with the five spoke rims on it too. So there's the super. And that's not done because that same issue that year, it was also done as a Zamac. So it was a Walmart exclusive Zamac. So three different, uh, three different versions of that truck. So if we look at all the special versions, we've had Kmart, Kmart, Zamac, right? And then we had the Walmart exclusive series. We had the, the nine packs, car culture. I think that's it. 
and then we've had it one time as a five pack model, and that's the last one until the JDM Legends, and that's this one with the uh, disc style rims. Deco's a little, I guess it's racing. I don't know. It's okay. I like it in white. But uh, yeah, the Datsun I am a completist on, so no matter what version gets released, five pack, nine pack, RLC, Super Treasure Hunt, I'm putting in the, it putting it in the collection. So that one goes right here. But as much as I like this one, which I would call my favorite, um, this one is easily the one I like the best. So. Isn't it G-Ready, not Greddy? No, it's Greddy. I had someone leave a comment the other day on my video about the uh, Hakoska Skyline because it's spelled H-A-K-O-S-U-K-A. -S and he said, hey, it's the Hakosuka. It's like, no, it's not. It's Hakoska because I've been corrected a thousand times by my Japanese friends on how to pronounce it. And uh, yeah, it's Greddy. So there is the uh, JDM Legend 620. Let's go ahead. There's the art. Let's go ahead and open it up. This will be in the K case. If you've watched the K case unboxings, some people have been, I don't know when I'm going to do mine. I still have a, a J case to do. I still have two J cases to do, and I'll do them next week. Um, so I'm going to be way behind, but who cares? You know, unboxings are fun, right? So there it is. How cool is that? The matte red is awesome. Dots and Deco in the back, Hot Wheels logo, and then this JDM Legends logo that was hand-painted on the actual truck. Looks so good. Steely rims. Decided not to do it in white, but I like the steelies because the, the rims on this one are steelies, the actual truck, and they are white, so they just did this version. So Tristan wants an extreme close-up. I can't go much closer than that without uh, losing focus. So I just think because this is an actual truck, it's sitting in Salt Lake City right now, um... And boy, I wanted to do so much. I had so many plans to have some fun get-togethers with this one, and it's such a bummer. Um, but still, we can show how cool it is. Maybe I'll do an Instagram live feed. I'll see if Eric wants to come on and talk about it. That's up to him. But there it is. So those of you who are watching, just to go through the Datsun 620s, I don't think I've missed any. I think that's all of them. So what, 5, 5, 10, 13, 16, 17 releases so far of the Datsun 620, that's not counting variations because I know there's a bunch of wheel variations on this one and there was one I think on this one, or maybe it was this one, I don't remember. But uh, that is the new truck. So um, it's Saturday and you guys are home. So if you want to, uh, you know, if you want to bail out right now because we've shown all the Datsun 620s, do it. If you want to go through some questions, I can do that right now. I probably missed some. So you might want to Go through them again, and uh, you want to see something. If I've got it, I will, uh, if I can get to it. And uh, so we can sit on for maybe another, I don't know, 10, 12 minutes for until we get to about 30 minutes. What is the color car in the background? Well, that is a good question. John, find a picture you want to see. Um, so I will show you. I think you're talking about this one. I'm going to show you this in a second. Um but uh, find a picture and show us through the cell phone. Are you talking about the truck as I just did? Um, I did it at the beginning of the video. I think if I still have it up here on my iPad, I'll show it. So yeah. So here's the truck. And there is the, uh, let me put the camera up a little bit higher. There is the JDM Legends version right there. So and then if I, so I can put the, Truck, truck, JDM Legends, JDM Legends. So pretty cool, right? That they've made the actual shop truck, and that is a true shop truck. It's whenever I go over there, it's like full of tires or whatever other parts he's working on, just dumped in there. They uh, they put that truck through a lot. It's kind of cool. All right. Um, no, no side mirrors because the casting doesn't have side mirrors. I can't do it exact, but you know, that's all right. Okay, let me guys show you what this is. I, I actually showed this on an Instagram live feed um, a, couple of, uh, a couple of days ago. 
And um, I've been doing some, if you guys are following me on Instagram, you should. If you don't, definitely do it. I've been doing some interviews and some other stuff, and I've got some other stuff planned. And then when I can, I will um, try and record those like I did with the Christian Kujan interview that's posted, I think, a couple videos ago um, here on YouTube. If I think that it makes sense on YouTube, not all of them do, but if I think it makes sense on YouTube, I'll screen, sh I'll screen capture it and I'll post them um, here on YouTube. But I would even better is just to watch them on, uh, on Instagram. Okay, this, now I tell people not to uh, send me things. And I truly mean that because I, people do some amazing work and I want it to be shown by people who can show them, meaning like, um, I don't have a lot of space and I'm always going through new stuff to show you guys. And I don't want someone's amazing creation to get lost, you know, in what I've got here. Um, I want to be able to see the amazing work that uh, so many of these artists do. This is an exception. Um, I don't know if I've said this right, but this is from, I was, I was actually trained, Fatur, Fatur Rahim, Rohim. And uh, he is a customizer. You can see his work on Instagram. Um, I, you can, I'm going to actually take some pictures of it and I'm going to post it on Instagram once and on the lamblegroup.com here, probably in the coming days, once I can give it a proper, um, proper photo treatment. But, um, I have watched him for years do his work and he's, he hand paints, uh, Hot Wheels and li literally he doesn't even take them off the, uh, base or anything. He doesn't take them apart. He just literally hand paints them and he's done some amazing work and he's worked on this new style and he wanted to send this to me and I said absolutely please do so here it is um this is the actual I mean it it's it fits with this theme because it's the JDM Legends Team Transport Hakoska and um he has done this that if I actually showed it to you one way you would think the whole thing was just a painting so I'm going to move the case because if I hold it like this, I'm, obviously there's some shadowing here. But if I, if I just showed it to you like that, it would look like it's just a drawing. And he's put, obviously, the Lambda Group logo over the top. Um, but it, So I could start like this, and you would think that it's just a drawing of a car fit in with all of these amazing lines. And then, of course, if I just turn it, then you see the car emerge. And you can see how amazing it is. But he is like every little piece on the base of this fits in with the car itself. It's a, an amazing piece of art. And he's an amazing artist. And I didn't ask him for this. And, and he was really cool. We talked first before he sent it because I don't, like I said, I don't want people's amazing art to get lost in with all this other stuff I have. But this thing is so incredibly special and something that I will definitely treasure. And I just wanted you to see, there's his logo there on the hood, um, how special this is. Nitrous is saying it's like a museum piece. It is. It totally, totally is. And I'm actually hoping to do some future projects with him. Uh, but you can see like JDM Legends there on the back because this is the Team Transport Hokoska Skyline. And yeah, I'll go back to that position. And you can see it just kind of vanishes into the into the drawing which is pretty incredible so yeah i have that in the background for now it won't always be there because i'm gonna display it in another part of my office but um yeah this is a treasured piece um there are some amazing artists uh in the diecast world and um i think he's in indonesia um I uh, I just think that is just something special. So, yeah, I wanted to put that there. You might see it there for a while. Um, that's probably the jewel of the collection. Oh, for sure. It's one of them. That is for sure. I've got a few things that are very special, um, and that is definitely one of them. So, all right, what else, guys? Let's look through these. Let me see if I can scroll through some of these questions. You guys want to know what kind of car I drive? Why? You guys know what I do for a living. And if you know what I do for a living, you know that I actually have a car supplied for me. So my daily driver changes every year and a half. So currently it is a Chevrolet Traverse. Is that exciting for you guys? Um, 
I take what the company gives me. So it's a nice car. It's not very exciting. Um, not very exciting for you guys. I mean, what do you, I, you think you want me to tell you I drive an RWB every day or something, but I don't. Um, all right. What else, guys? I have, uh, I'm going to be doing some Matchbox videos this week. I've got the Top Gun five packs um, that I'm going to do. So I'm going to do both of those probably, probably not tomorrow, but maybe Monday night. Um, I'll do the, um, the Top Gun five packs. I've got these amazing Matchbox nine pack Porsches, which I can, and I'm going to actually do, if you guys like this, um, tell me if you want me to do Top Gun live or as a, um, you want to do a live stream or you want me to do a produce video and the same thing with these, because what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through both of the colors of this, por of this Porsche. It's the 911 GT3 casting, which is about 13 years old. And then I'm going to show you all versions of that casting. It's one of Matchbox's best, um, for sure. So, um... Tell me if you want it live or if you want it produced. When I do it produced, I can give you the good circle shots, you know, on the turntable. When it's live, it's really hard to do that. So, um, but we get to do it live, which is kind of fun too. So, Jeff is, says, hello from Scottsdale. Uh, I lived in Scottsdale before I moved up here. So, and I'm still down there all the time. Well, not lately. Okay, I'm seeing a lot of lives. But while you guys are saying that... Um, Am I going to preview the new Fast and Furious Motor City Muscle Set? When I get it, I will. Um, I know I've been late on everything, guys, and that's just because I typically, you know, I go through either the proper channels through Mattel, and they send me those sets, and they don't they don't have access to them now because everyone's at home, um, or I get them through uh, like AJ Toys or Wheel Collectors, and they have not gotten them yet either. So I don't I'm not shopping in the stores right now. So if it's in the store, I haven't seen them because I haven't been in the store. Um, so if I get them, um, as soon as I get them, I'll do them. I know that, um, wheel collectors is getting the new team transport and there's four sets in there. So I will definitely be showing that if uh, they get it soon enough, it could be as early as next week. I'll do the, all of the new team transport, which would be cool. Uh, you guys are asking about the Silverado feature. I'm doing that one too. When I get a chance, uh, I've got some Matchbox things in 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 uh, in my plans, but as soon as I can do the Silverado, where I'm going to open that up and walk through all the Silverados, like I did the Datsun 510, where we did it by value, I'm going to do that with the Silverado. So, am I going to be able to do an RLC Countach preview? Um, I hope. That's another one. If if Mattel can get back in the office, I'll probably get the Lamborghini before the sale. Um, but if they can't get back in the office, then I won't. So they were able to send me the RWB, but I don't know if they're going to be able to send me some of the other stuff. It really is just a different time. And I know you guys love it when I preview stuff, but, um, that's why I'm filling it up with kind of my theme right now is, and I hope you guys like this. You know, I, I know that a lot of times I see a lot more traffic when I show new stuff, but there's so much cooler old stuff that people haven't seen. And I'm trying to go to back to some of that, almost give you the same excitement about some of the stuff you may have missed as a newer collector. And I hope you like that. That's kind of the theme. And then once we're back, you know, once things are back and Mattel's back working and who knows when that will be, um, I'll have a lot of new stuff to show you again. I have a lot of good information that I can't share yet because I have nothing to show you, but there's some really, really, really cool stuff showing. And I'm asking Jimmy if I can show di different things and he's said yes, and I just haven't gotten to it yet. So that won't be on the channel. That'll be on the blog. All right. Opinion on the new McLaren Speedtail. I think it looks cool. Matchbox should do more Lamley Leaks cars. I think so too. And I think they might have some fun. Um, they have, there's some castings like, what about the, oh, and I even have the latest. A lot of you guys got the Tomica Limited Vintage. That's another thing. My, to my whole shipment from Japan Booster is stuck in Japan. And it's been stuck in Japan for four, three weeks now. Um, so the f black Ferraris and all the new stuff, the, the new sets, the new Tomokurama sets, <laughs> they're just stuck in Japan and they can't come. As soon as I get them, I'll show them. But, you know, they've been out now for several weeks and I just can't, like, that's just what it is. So I'm trying to show you guys some other stuff. All right, what else? We're almost to 30 minutes, but I'll give you guys a couple of, uh, 
I mean, if you guys have ideas, don't leave them here on the on the live stream. Leave them down in the comments and I'll show them. But I've got some good stuff for you. And I definitely have this new stuff, which I'm excited about. But um, the Hot Wheels stuff I'll be getting eventually. Will I do a Tarmac Works collection video? I could. Um, I'm actually going to be doing some stuff with Tarmac Works on Instagram soon. That's a little hint. Um, I'm excited about that, so pay attention to that. I've I've got some with me, but not a lot. A lot of them are up are in storage at this point. Um, show again. What do I have? I don't know. Lots of things. Um, I'm supposed to be getting the Yes Evo. I have the prototype. I don't have the finished model, and if I get it, I'll do it. Um, how many dioramas? There was two in the March release. Do I have the new black card Hot Wheels series? I don't think so. Please do more Tarmac and Mini GT. I will when I can, when I get them. Everything has been delayed, so um, I don't have any new Mini, Mini GT or Tarmac to show right now. Uh, what do I? How much do I think I've spent in my collection? Um, more than a dollar. I have no idea. Let's see. Um, show us the prototype. I don't have it with me. It's in storage. Can you do that on YouTube, please? Some people don't have Instagram. Um, no, I'm going to do it. It's, it's not. I, I think that the Instagram platform for doing interviews works. And like I said, if I'll, I'll screen capture them and I'll put them here if I think it's worth it. Um, and that one is actually not my. I'm doing it. Tarmac Works invited me to be on with them. So that'll be with them. Um. But uh, yeah, I, AJ, go to Instagram, and if not, then uh, I'll show it here. All right, guys, I'm gonna get out of here in a minute. But uh, anything, any other, uh, any other questions before we go? Anything else you want to see? When is the RLC Lambo sale? I have no idea. Um, BRE 620 and 510. I don't think they'll do a BRE 620 because there wasn't one. Doesn't there? Doesn't exist. They did the, they did the five ten. I think there's a roadster they could do. Um, face reveal, haven't you? Said? I've had my face all over Instagram. If you go to the Christian Kujin video, I'm on that too. So, if you really want to see my face, you guys were all saying how old I look, which was really nice. Um, are there any new square body Chevys coming out? No idea. Um, Hot Wheels releases would have been revealed in the last convention. PowerPoint presentation. Can you ask Hot Wheels guys to put up there? No, they didn't do it. And, let, and Hector, let me explain that to you real quickly. Um, there's a big difference between what Hot Wheels will show on those sneak peeks um, that they do at the convention and the sneaks you'll see on some of the websites, you know, like T Hunted and stuff. All the stuff that you see that are on those websites, and the reason I don't show them is because they're um, not, they're not, they're unauthorized, basically. They're pictures taken in the factory. Um, there is a source that's been actually stealing the pictures from Mattel or like they've been getting the pictures, Mattel's in-house pictures. Someone who is getting them and is not supposed to share them is sharing them. And it's a problem. And I think they're going, I think eventually they'll figure out who it is, but the stuff that's on. And so that's, so that's stuff that you guys are looking at. And then I guess all these videos are showing those from T hunted, which they shouldn't be doing either but that's their prerogative. They can do whatever they want. I don't, I choose not to, but, um, and part of it, you know, that part of it is because I have a good relationship with Mattel and I want to keep having a good relationship with Mattel. So I'd much rather show you the real stuff in person, uh, later on the slides that you see on the, um, at the convention, they have to go through proper channels, meaning, you know, like, let's say, let's say they're going to, they were going to, um, tease this model, like that image, you know, the, the e-sheet image of this model, they'd have to go to Nissan and make sure they could show it, you know, before it was released, they need to go to JDM legends, make sure they could show it. And then they need to go to their legal department. So considering the convention was canceled and they usually do that, you know, about a month or so in advance. And when all hell was breaking loose with uh, COVID-19 and they weren't even going to be able to be in there. And then, you know, it was hard to communicate with everyone. They just decided, hey, look, at the convention's not even going to happen. We can't do this right now. And so they just canned it. So 
So that's why they can't just like show you, hey, there's this coming out and this coming out. They actually have to go through proper licensing channels to showcase it. That's why all of those leaked images are, you know, that's why Mattel doesn't do that because they have to go through a process to be able to show that. Does that make sense? And you want them to do that because if they show something that um, a licensor hasn't been authorized, hasn't authorized, that licensor could say, like, let's say, I don't know, Nissan or Disney or anyone could say, hey, we didn't want you to show that yet. In fact, we're so ticked off, we don't want you to release anything. If the licensor doesn't approve, Hot Wheels can't release it. So what if they pissed off Nissan? We wouldn't get Datsun. We wouldn't get the Nissan Skylines. We wouldn't get all the stuff that's coming into the car culture. So that's the risk that we take. So us promoting, like if I promote, the reason Hot Wheels would be pissed at me for promoting, for showing unauthorized sneak peeks is because I'm putting their license agreements with Porsche, Datsun, Nissan, Mercedes, BMW, all at risk. Disney, um, Hoonigans, anything that's coming out, um, they put those license agreement agreements at risk by showing things they're not supposed to. Does that make sense? And there actually have been times in the past where something has sneaked and the licensor says, sorry, we're out. So yeah, Mattel does take this stuff seriously. They want to get to the bottom of those sneaks and sometimes it's very hard to do. So that's kind of the story, if you guys want to know. That's why I don't show them, because I like having these cars, and I don't want anyone to get ticked off at me or Mattel to the point where Mattel can't release those. So that's why I don't do it. You know, other places want to do it. They can show those sneaks, but that's why I don't. So, and I I know some of it's like, it's a legal thing. It is. That's just the reality of the world right now. It's all about, you know intellectual property and all that kind of stuff. And I get it. You know, I don't like it when people steal my pictures um, unless they give proper credit. So I get all of that. So AJ is my Instagram. It's the Lamley group is what it is. Um, Lamley, please answer. Wheels hot. You're getting all feisty. Um, please answer. Your parking diorama is an old Tomicrama. Yes, both of these. This one and this one are Tomicramas. Um, I have the, uh, I have this one, which I've actually, I just kind of put aside that goes with this one. Um, but that's off to the side for now. All right, guys, I'm going to sign out. We're almost close to 40 minutes here on my Saturday night, but, um, thoughts on the new display, the display case 55 gasser. Um, yeah, I think that's kind of cool. I'm no surprise that they chose the gasser there. All right, guys, I am going to head out. There, we finished off with that explanation on, it's hard to explain it. I know that's kind of boring because there's nothing I'm changing here on the screen, but at least it gives you an idea of why I don't do sneaks. Um, I used to, uh, full disclosure, I used to. And um, then I learned about the problems they cause and I stopped. So, um, and I've, I haven't shown them ever since. And you know what's cool about it, guys? is when you do that, then Mattel comes to you and says, here, if you want to sign an NDA, we'll show you stuff. And I've been there at Mattel, looked at things that haven't, that won't come out for, uh, for a long time. And I get to offer my opinion on things and all that stuff. It's not, you know, they don't listen to me all the time, but, uh, I do get to discuss things with Mattel and they say, Hey, we're working on this. What do you think? And I get to give you my, I get to give them my opinion. And I love having that privilege. It's very, very cool. And in turn, they trust me and say, hey, we'll send you an RLC RWB Porsche if you'll preview it. And I say, absolutely. So it's good. It's a good relationship to have. So, and that's why I get to preview things like the RLC RWB Porsche for you. <sighs> All right, guys, I'm going to head on out. Nice seeing you. I hope you guys like this. Congratulations to JDM Legends on this fantastic truck. Always nice to chat with you. I think I'll pop on tomorrow. Maybe we can do more chatting. Get some good questions. Maybe we'll do, oh, you know what we'll do tomorrow if you guys want to? You guys know I like to do those videos where I'll just I'll just put the camera in front of the uh, of my collection. You guys tell me what you want to see and I'll show you. How about that? You guys want to do that? Let me know in the comments section. I'm out. Bye.